However, this evening, you will be filled to the brim. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. This place is very wonderful. I mean, Onisha people are special. I know. Everything is special here. You watch the place where we find Look at the of the light. Look at the arrangement of everything. It's in order. It's really excellent. Hallelujah. Amen. So you're already blessed. And they call the Ibu God when you're Can I hear your amen? Amen. Do you love me as much as your pastor? Oh no, Naya, this is the one you're talking about. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want you to note something. Oh, I am sure. Tired, Bama. This evening. Number that. A lot of you will join the bandwagon of those that will serve God in truth and in spirit. You have been praying and saying, God, I want to serve you. God has had you. This evening it will manifest. If you know you want to serve God with you, oh, beautiful. put your hands together for put your hands together for you. Put your hands together for, you. Hands together for Jesus. Jesus. When the land and no bend, I follow on young women. I come and gang gam nine, and chabulugi and nine, fulefu. Chine can keep with him, man. On young women, can he go maraman? On a goz in the query, Naya. Chine can keep with him, man. Tobaya, Chine can keep with him, man. Tobaya, Chine can keep with him, man. Tobaya, Chine can keep On a goz in the query, Naya. Chine can keep with him, man. Tobaya, Chine can keep with him, man. Tobaya, On a goz in the query, Naya. Chine can keep with him, man. The <laughs> Put your hands together, let me hear you. For Jesus, come in for Jesus. For Jesus, Let me hear your hands, everybody. No one, put it anywhere. Louder. 
You will be surprised what will happen to you now. From today, your identity will change. When you go out in the street, when you go to preach, even your relations will be watching in this name. Do you believe that? Something will happen to you. We don't only preach the word of God. It's practical. So you will change to another man. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, are you ready? We sing one more song for him. Are you ready? Destiny mother. He is the destiny mother. Come and mold my destiny. My, my destiny, destiny today. Let me hear you. Come, Come and mold, mold my, my destiny. My destiny today. Call him destiny mother. Destiny mother. Oh yeah, let me hear you. Destiny mother. Brother. Oh yeah, one more time. Destiny Louder, louder. Destiny Hold on. Louder. Oh yeah, miracle worker now. Miracle worker. Hold on. Go ahead. Eh? Louder. What did you say? Come and do my miracle. Eh? Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Louder. Your miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Tell him Yahweh. Louder. Your name is Yahweh. Call him Yahweh one more time. Lift your 
Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I shall go in their midst now. Bring out 14 persons here. 14 persons. 14 persons. God is going to deal with them special. Among them will be miracle workers. Among them will be great evangelists. As I'm speaking right now, the Lord is selecting them. Go around immediately. You don't touch them until the Lord has finished with them. Watch out the first three. Check the first three right now. One, two, three. Oh yeah, check them out. Allow the Lord to finish with them. You will see the wonder the Lord will do in this place. You will see how the Lord will finish with them. Let them. Let the Lord finish before you bring them out. Watch them, watch them, watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Just take them. Let the Lord finish. The Holy Ghost is going inside. The Holy Ghost is going inside. Don't touch anybody. 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 You are the ministers. You are not ready tonight. You are not ready tonight. Oh my God. Where are the workers that are here? I don't want any stampede. The joy of Holy Ghost will get inside the congregation now. The joy of the Holy Ghost will get into the congregation. Escape. Escape. Escape from bondage. Escape from troubles of the devil. Let the ministers go inside. Check them. There will be rays in the kingdom of darkness. Check them immediately. Check them immediately. Check them. Take them over here. I don't want matching. Take them over here. This is the night. Watch them. The power of God is on. Check miracle workers to bring them out. Emeka, watch God there. You have been crying in the night. Emeka, watch the Lord will visit you there. Go around, go around, go around. The Lord is moving. 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 The The power is going to bring them out. Don't like the don't allow them to match themselves. Where are they, our workers? Where are they? Ministers, you help us. Minister, music ministry, boys, enter here. Enter here. Enter here. People that God will use to raise the dead, they are coming out. Watch them out. Watch them out. Watch them out. Watch them out. I don't want anybody to match anybody. Watch the power of God is flowing there. The power of God is flowing there. The power of God is flowing there. The God is flowing there. The is flowing there. Watch out till we throw that fellow from the seat. He's saying, is this the will of God? Is this the power of God? Oh, no. That power will throw you out of the seat now. Water 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 will throw you them out of the seat now. Water 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 go there, go there, go there. Get hand on, get back hand there. Go there, out of the seat now. They have the been dealing. Go there, quickly, quickly, quickly. quickly, 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 quickly. The time is going against us. Okay, now. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, also, also. quickly, bring them out, bring them out. Quickly, I don't want to match. Take them over to this place. Go inside there. 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 Evangelists, you have been, have been working been for a long time now. The enemy attacked you. You are you are you, are, you packed everything. You are no longer evangelizing. And enemies are rejoicing. Watch that fellow right now. How well of God will throw him out of the seat? Uh -huh. he he has has one. What, where are Joshua? Where are they? Where are you? Wait, what? What? Watch, watch. 
Wait them, wait them, wait them immediately. Abe ka ha no the enemy took away the power from them. Ndiro, go and repair the power right now. He can abe ka so. They going to restore the power now. Chide ke ke wa chi de. Lord is going to put it upon them now. Chide ke ke ya chi kwa ita. Check them, they have no finish. Check them. Check them, check them. Check them, check them, check them. Bobo ta wa hai ba. Quickly, quickly check them. Our source of our time is going. Chide ka ya. Our time is going. Oga ina ga. Escape. Bahaso escape. Bahaso escape from troubles of this life escape from perdition escape from the bondage of the enemy go in there go in there go in there see this person also the devil is using bad dreams to hinder the progress of God in your life every time bad dreams every time bad dreams if you see good dream you will remember it the power of God will come upon you now. Go to them right now. Go to them over there. Go over there. Go them over there. Go them over there. Go over there. The power will be throwing them away from the sea. Freedom tonight. Freedom tonight. Freedom tonight. The streets will not hear again. We will disturb them with the gospel. We will take the we must go. We must go. We must go. We are here so that the captive will be made free. We are here so that the bond will be released. We are here that the authority of the Lord will be established. Osha, watch them over there. Watch this evangelist. They are managing to go out. But there is no power in them. When they speak, they return tired. Watch them over here now. What them? Yes, go there, go there. The power will come upon them. The power will come upon the evangelist. The power will come upon the evangelist. What them now? What them? What them too? What them three? Oh, two, what the evangelists? Four? What them? Watch uh -huh. them now. Power will be throwing them away from their teeth. Return there. Don't allow them to match them. Return there. Return the evangelists. They are tired, but they will be revived. Watch, watch. Them. Watch, watch. Bring them, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. If you say amen, something will happen to you. I say say amen over there. I say it amen. Say amen over there. Amen. Some of you that have been going for family deliverance. There will be no money to be paid tonight. Nobody will ask you for money tonight. There will be deliverance in your family. Anywhere they planted charm. Anybody they have locked. Anybody they changed. There will be thunder right in your village. I said there will be thunder right in your village. The key will be broken. The key will be broken. The will be broken. The chain will be scattered. Your freedom is coming today. Your freedom is coming this Your freedom is coming this night. Oh, you yeah, watch this fellow. Oh, shall go around. Three people. Oh, Check them. Check them. Check them. Check them. Check them. Check them. Enemies have banned them for long. And their family have been suffering. What them? Check them. The, the deliverance will be serious. Watch them. Watch them. Yes, watch them. Watch them immediately. The deli no young ones will grow up, they won't be able to marry. Some people will get money today, tomorrow they are poor. Because of the influence of the enemy. You will escape tonight. You will escape right now. You will escape right now. You will escape right now. Escape right now. Where is that a maker I've been talking about? Is a maker here at this place? It's not here. If your name is a maker, they wave your hand. Wave your hand. Over there. Uh -huh. yes. 
Emeka over there. Emeka, I'm going member. to pray for you. Aga mekbere gekbere. I'm going to pray for you. Aga jekas. Aga jim kwa gekbere nde be Emeka. In your family. Yes, you know lagi. In that business place. Neba hina so afia. That person that I've been monitoring you. Onya hundo we ne sogari gekbere. And say you have been moving up and down, saying you are going to church. We sini na magona amada sini ne joka. He say he want to show you that power past power. Actually, you go sigi ni ke ka ike. The person said he will show Emeka that power past power. Onya na sini aga go say. Make an e cake that I get. They have been tormenting your life. How no one make man do garo? But this second. Manoga, this second, now the wind him will carry him and the charm. The wind will carry the person and the charm. The person and the charm. The wind will carry the person and the charm. I declare your escape. Amen. I declare your escape. Amen. I declare your freedom. Amen. That fellow that I've been trailing you, force will carry him from the bed. This night he will land with his head. He will confess what he has done. If he refuses to confess, this moment is the end. Can I hear you shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can I you shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Let me hear you. Lift them up. Come here. Come here, every one of you. Lift them up. Bring them. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Let people in men market hear your hallelujah now. Bring them close. Pastors, please lay your hands upon them. Pastors, lay your hands upon them. Yes. Bring. <laughs> that person knows something. <laughs> Pastors, come and lay your hands upon them. <laughs> <My sister, laughs> the power of God upon you. Yes. <laughs> Pastors, come help me lay your hands upon them. Yes, yes. Go in that I might. Let the power of God follow you. Pastors, lay your hands upon them, please. Come. Yes. I command every spirit of frustration. Come on, get out of him. Escape. Watch, watch, watch. Pastors, lay your hands upon them. Lay your hands upon them. This is just the first day. Put speakers on the gate. Don't be afraid. Put the speakers at the gate. So that those that are passing on the way will see and hear. Because the power is not only here. Yes, yes. 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 So don't be asking yourself, will God answer me tonight? I just know where you chinete ya gaze perem na balia. I'm assuring you there will be answers to your prayer. Ana mete ga ya na ge wo sa wenye peregi. So many of you have received the answers already. O fa vini mo nu chinete asa go hari ekpere. Even when the chorus leaders and man drama people were there, you received some. Bana harem bendi ne du na bu ne du ya na nde age jene me ye ina ta kwari ye bebe. When the moderator came on board, you received something. Mbo nya na hazi ya ba gotere ba o nwakwa ye na tara. Music ministers released anointing too. Ndi o ka bo top kwara and I don't, I, well, there's some pastor release anointing when he spoke about. I'm here to confirm and conclude. You are blessed. 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 Father, we thank you. We thank you for your person in our presence. We humble ourselves before you. Interpret your words to us. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the people of God said, Amen. The theme of our gathering before the Lord says, Escape for what? For your life. Escape means to break free. From confinement. Yes. or from control. And I want to tell you one of the things which the enemy uses to confine and control people of God. And 
I will discuss on conflict resolution and peacemaking. Conflict resolution and peacemaking, yes. Second Corinthians. Chapter 5. Let's go there. I have a few more minutes remaining. Approximately an hour. <laughs> but I think if I take up to one hour for five minutes, you wouldn't mind. What? what do you say? Okay. Second Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, yeah, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, all things have become new. All things are of God, who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. And had given us the ministry ministry of reconciliation. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Not in putting their trespasses unto them and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Re reconciliation is also known as Conflict resolution. And I am talking completely in the word of God, not from professional point of view. Because there is no conflict in life that has been resolved. To resolve it means that you take it out of the way it will never manifest in any format. No, conflict comes and changes shape. As you solve one, the next one will come. So the Lord taught us about reconciliation. Whereby we love one another even though the conflicts are still running. This is extremely important in Christian race. It is important in the families because families make up the church. It is important in businesses. It is important in the society. This is a, a skill that every Christian leader must possess. Unfortunately, we are not taught on how to do it. Even our background family experience have not helped us in so doing. So this night, married and unmarried, educated and uneducated, brethren must pay attention. This message will help you today, it will help you tomorrow and throughout life. No matter how short it is. Is anybody listening? If you are here with me, say amen. Okay. And so, conflict resolution and peacemaking. When you resolve conflict, there will be peace. There is nobody here who does not love peace. But there, there are very few, very few people that know how to make peace. They love peace, but they can't make peace. In our background, some of our parents pray throughout their lives. And we followed it and got into marriage and came to church. In the church, what we are talking of today is majorly for those that have given their life to Jesus Christ. So what I mean 
Does it mean that newcomers that just came in because they saw people going about and say, Come to Jesus, they will not benefit? No. Uh -uh. They will be the first group of people that will benefit. How Because they have to reconcile with Christ. They have to resolve their problems with Christ. By simply confessing their sins. And then giving their life unto him. Accepting Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. When you do that, the next thing that will come to you is peace of mind. You begin to love peace. However, others that are born again, they will tell me, yes, we have peace because we receive Jesus Christ. Of course, anybody that is born again has a portion of peace in him. But as we relate with one another, we discover troubles here and there. Why do we have troubles as Christians? Number one, we are not perfect. Number two, Number two, nobody is the same, exactly the same with the other. So, sometimes, you see husband and wife having conflict. You ask the man, what's the problem? You're the wife, what is the problem? They will just say, we are not compatible. We are not a man. Because we are not agreeing. There is no person that is a match to the other. Check, check your DNA. You have no, no, there is no single person that has a similar the same DNA with anybody. That's why the Bible says that God made us beautiful in his own time. So because of the difference, Friends. There can be misunderstanding. You, we see one thing. All of us we see this pulpit. It's not the same way I'm seeing this pulpit that this interpreter is seeing it. It's not the same way I'm seeing this pulpit that those in the music ministry and all the people in congregation are seeing it. They tell us to write about it. We will write different things. Because we are different people. We will only have similarities in few things. And so a husband can see this Bible. And say it's beautiful. The wife say this nonsense. If they do not know about conflict resolution. They will fight because of Bible. Because of that misunderstanding. And then in conflict, you will see so many times the problem becomes too much. The, one of the spouses, one of the partners, he may even be a member, two members of the church that are living together. They begin to dodge the problem. In conflict resolution, there is what we call avoiding. There is what we call appeasing. That is okay. No matter what I, I just agree. Whatever you do, let there be no trouble. Appeasing. These things are not allowed in conflict. You cannot sweep conflict under the bed. You cannot avoid the conflict. Jesus as God faced conflict here. Jesus, So how, what do we do when conflict comes? We face it. 
will come out and face it. If you dodge, if you avoid, you may look quiet and withdraw. But there may be a lot of wickedness in you because of the offense that have been caused to you. Oh yes, and that is why sometimes you see that if any day a brother or a sister tells the other person, husband and wife, hey, sit down, let us talk. It may be the husband that says to the, I mean the wife that says to the husband, oh, God, sit down, let us talk. Immediately the wife says it. The husband will put up a very strong front. Where but I you want us to talk? Tell me that thing now. Why is the man like that? He already knows there is problem. And he knows that if he sits down, the wife will expose his weakness. No woman being likes another person to know that he is weak. But, but you know you are weak. There is no need pretending. Sometimes if it's the husband that says to the wife, come, 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 we need to talk. The wife will say, tell me that thing. Why? Have they sent you again? Uh, Who sent you this time? The woman knew that if she sits down, her weakness will be open. Nah, she wants be. to avoid it. So no, we cannot avoid it. <laughs> we can, Adam and Eve, they committed. Adam and Eve, Immediately God said, Adam, Adam. Adam, Adam. Adam ran away. Adam, Bapa. And God said, Adam, where are you? Adam said, I'm taking a condition somewhere. God knew what he was dodging. He knew that his nakedness had been exposed. And he asked, have you eaten the fruit I told you not oh, to eat? Immediately, Adam put off a defense. He said, it's not me that caused it, it's you. Because you gave me a woman that lured me into this is the problem we have with conflict resolution. And the church has become a kingdom of troubles. We have a lot of troubles in the church. In fact, I just say a few things and then we go. There are different types of conflict that come to us. We name four. Number one, conflict with self. Conflict you have in yourself. Where you will have confusion in your heart. Where you will hate yourself. In fact, it leads to depression. If you allow it to linger, it can take you to psychiatric hospital. It can make you too aggressive in a public place or in the church. Even if somebody calls you for blessing, you may say, oh, Am I your age, man? Why are you calling? me like that. The person may not know that you are having internal conflict. If it is allowed, it may lead to suicide. We are coming to that. Second one, conflict with others. When you have overworried yourself, when there are troubles everywhere, condition in Nigeria, businesses are not moving. And then sometimes, you will allow it to get into your head. It can also cause some trouble and storm 
in your brain. So sometimes it happens mostly to women. If they come out of the room, I see two or three persons discussing. She will say that talking against me. They want to kill me. She will run inside. And then she will quarrel with everybody. She is offended with everybody. It can also happen to men. The men that love money so much. If you buy something from them, you are in trouble. If they buy from you, you are in trouble. If you give them change excess, you are in trouble. If you do not give them the normal change, you are in trouble. With everybody. It is just like that everywhere in their life. There is another type of conflict too. We call it conflict with the environment. Conflict like in the country today. We have conflict everywhere. Look at all the fine, fine buildings you have. No roads. No Nepalite. Then you get inside the room. Twenty story building. Uh, Twenty story building. This view. one by the other side. This one by the other side. There is no way for air to come in. And then there is kitchen here, there is kitchen there. Some are cooking with stove, some are cooking with wood, some are cooking with this. So the other will be horrible. There will be tension everywhere. The fourth one is complete with the supernatural. No matter who you have prayed with, please don't have conflict with God. But I tell you something. Jesus taught us in the Bible. Jesus, he said, Let's go to First John chapter four. John chapter four. Verse twenty. If a man say, I love God, and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he had seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? <laughs> What beloved John is saying here is this. You can't be right with God. And be wrong with man. Everybody in the church, you are quarreling with the person. Everybody in the compound, you are quarreling with the person. Because there are things that conflict do. Number one. It blocks your fellowship with God. Your, your prayer will not ascend to heaven. There is nothing you are doing that will make me. You, you will sing your song will not make any meaning. You will pray. Your prayer will look like nothing. You may be vibrating in prayer so. But no connection. It blocks fellowship with God. Number two. If you have conflict. If you have conflict, there is another thing it will do. It will hinder your prayers from ascending to heaven. First Peter chapter 3. First Peter chapter 3 verse 7. Likewise ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life. That can anybody read with me that your prayers be not hindered? Okay, you can see it. So it blocks prayers. It blocks prayers. 
And so if you are having conflicts every time, your prayers, your prayers will not be answered. Every time you are quarreling with your wife, you are calling her Jezebel. Jezebel. Now if it is a woman, you will be calling the husband every manner of name. If the man is huge, you may be calling him if the man is slim, he may be calling him Banla. 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 And so it is not good at all. Number three, it blocks your happiness. You can't have complete and be happy. Because our relationship matters a lot. Before God created the woman, he said, I see that the man is alone and it is not good for the man to be alone. Complete will push you outside the relationship. In the church, it will make you not to be in tune with anybody. They will look as if you are gentle. Some people will be so bold. I will just call it bold sinners. You can sing a lot. If we are praying, the person will be carrying seat and scattering it so that enemies will be angry. It is only a mess of person that can mess another person up. You are not happy. You want others not to be happy. That is the reason why we want conflict to be settled. There are millions of people that are in the church we miss heaven just because of unforgiveness. Anything that anybody has done to you that you see you can't forgive is an invitation to failure. You will fail in business. You will fail in relationships. You will fail in Christianity. You will fail in fellowship. There is nothing that will succeed in your life. I tell you something exactly. Some of the people you are quarreling with are your destiny connectors. And you can never survive in life until you can side with them. You will be praying, God will just be looking at you. If brethren will be in unity, church is a zone where you can find anything. Everything about God is complete in the church. There are people that have brain to create wealth. There are people that have brain to plan and manage. There are people that have eye to see ahead. When we are together and play as a team, well, the church will become a very great place. When there is conflict, everything will be messed up. Now, I tell you just two, three ways we can resolve conflict. Number one, through wisdom. The Bible says that wisdom is a principal thing. And if you have wisdom, you will have understanding. You will understand the way people behave. You understand the way that person you are having problem behave. Then God will give you wisdom on how to follow the person. Yes, if you, if, assuming it's your leader, your pastor in the church, and you come to give testimony in the church, and the moderator said, uh, uh, round up, there is no time. You carry the microphone. Take it. Land of no time. And then you move out. Are there people that do like that? Uh, you are not answering me. 
Are there people that do like that in the church? Why did they to know to come? Now, if they walk out of the pulpit, will they be happy? Uh, 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 say amen over there. Oh, so you can hear me? I say, if those people walk out of the pulpit in that condition, will they be happy with the moderator? Okay. Uh, it's only from this side that I'm hearing. You, you, you must answer me. Oh. Is that all right? Yes, sir. If I don't hear you, I will think that you are having conflict with me already. Are we quarreling already? I know so. Uh -huh. Oh, thank God. Because I, I am already afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. So you use wisdom if you are that person that came to give testimony. And you acted that way. You will say to me, you will come back to the pastor. And say, I'm sorry for my character. Then you go to the moderator. And tell the moderator, I'm very sorry. Forgive me, it won't happen again. But if you go to the pastor, and say, Pastor, as for you, you are a good man. But all this you are moderators are useless. But I have forgiven them because they say we should resolve conflict. I just come to resolve my conflict. You are causing more trouble. There is no wisdom in you. The thing you are doing will not stop moderator from checking time because he is moderating. Oh, yeah, So you just have to come the right way to make peace. Number two way, second thing, way you can resolve and make peace. You have to be extremely prayerful. Before you go to make peace, you pray. Because prayer has a way of giving understanding. If you are still here with me, say amen. Yes, when Jacob was traveling to a place, he just left. God came to him and set up ladder from heaven to Jacob and was coming and going and Jacob couldn't get anything he was just watching the film he was busy sleeping he didn't get anything it was when he got up he said ah, because the Lord is in this place and I knew it not because he has no prayer life but that cost him to change. Another day when he lied down and God came that way. He was already in meditative prayer mood. When God came, he grabbed him and began to pray and began to ask and began to fight. And God said when the morning was breaking, he said, let me go. We have stayed here for a long time. Jacob said, Jacob said, miss it the first time. Okay, come back. I will not miss it again. I have prayed. This revelation I got, I must profit something from it. I will not let you go unless you bless me. Was he blessed? His name was changed. He was made a great man. It, God touched him. And this wahala changed. You called him a deceiver. But God came. And called him a king. And called him a great man. And say you wrestle with men. And, and won. You already wrestled with God. And If you pray. People may see you as useless. But prayer will transform you to another man. Prayer will give you revelations that will make you to know that trouble are blockage on your way. And when you settle those problems, you will touch God. 
Okay, your business will change. Your wisdom will change. Your family will change. You will be different from other people. So prayer is important. That is number two. Everybody, if you are hearing me, say amen. If you are hearing me, say amen. Next thing you will do, you will confront the problem. If you go home, you read Matthew chapter 18. Verse 15. He said, if you have problem with any person, if you have an art, he said, and you bring your offering in the house of God, drop it there, return back and settle. There are husbands and wives that are coming to church. In the motors that are coming to church, they will quarrel. And after quarreling, the wife will just open door and move and get to the church and begin to sing. And the song you are singing is condemning you. The husband will also join the church. They didn't settle the matter. And in the heart of the man, he was angry. The wife angry. The children were also offended. Why am I, our parents pulling every time? And they will join the church. Maybe the chorus leader will raise a song. That says, <laughs> Then the children will join to sing. They wouldn't think about the song that singing. Do you know what God expects you to do? You just walk out of the church because of feelings. Uh, okay. no, you, you went out of the church after quarreling. Sorry. You came down from the motor and entered the church. As you enter there and recognize yourself, you return back. If your husband is not there, you go to the seat and say, oh, girl, girl, come. I, he said, Leave me. I went to worship. He said, Come. come. And then he comes out. I want us to settle. What, what do you want to worship when we forget? If you settle, fellowship will be sweet. If you do not settle, that day you have wasted it. You have fooled yourself. Therefore, look at yourself now. Who do you have problem with? Who do you have problem with? And every day you are coming to church. It may be the white garment person in your compound. It may be the landlord. You say the man is occultic. He's a ritual man. Anytime I rise up to pray, the, 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 the body go to pepper him. I, I never pray safe. I go begin to pray. Are you sure you are saying the truth? Will Jesus do that thing you are doing if you were to live there? Jesus. Okay. I will tell you a story, then I pray for you. You know the story. In John chapter 8. Now John? A woman was caught in adultery. They pursued the woman. There are some women that can run. The woman ran. All the church leaders that were pursuing her and the church ushers and members of security, they couldn't catch her. Until she ran to Jesus. And the people came to Jesus. I said, it's even good we met you. Hey, uh, not the to... person preaching up and down. This woman was caught in adultery. Why red-handed. The Lord Moses said we should stone her. You, what do you say? And the Bible said that we are asking the question, also tempting Jesus. If you make trouble in the house, you might as well be quarreling with Jesus. You may be praying, but that's pretext. And Jesus looked at them. Jesus, well, and said, okay. I've read that law. 
Okay, what will we do now? The person among you that have not committed sin. Throw the first stone. Then I will join and we will kill her. And they bow down. They expose the woman to shame and ridicule. But Jesus didn't want to expose them. My Jesus, I tell you, my heart. He knew their problems, but he is God Almighty. They bowed down his head. Before he took up his head, the Bible recorded that all the people ran away from the elder. To the least. And Jesus said, Woman, where are those you accuse Jesus, where do you The woman said, There's no more here. Jesus said, Neither do I condemn Jesus. you. Do you see the way Jesus treats sinners? Jesus, He knew that every saint has a past. He also knew that every sinner has a future. And he gave that woman a future. So the sinner is not the problem. The problem are the people that are carrying stones. I want to ask you now. Are you holding stone in your hand? Check your hand. Are you holding stone? He said, permit us to kill the woman. How many people are you crucified? in the compound. Look at this girl. Look at the miniscale. Look at this young man. Look at the dada hair. Look at this yahu yahu person. You are a Christian. What can you offer to them? You are there to reconcile them to Christ. You are not there to mock them. God kept you there for a purpose. Why did you pick a stone? You want to kill them? Who killed you in your own time? We must arise to the responsibility We must arise this night. All the people in the compound that you, you have offended because of your holy, holy attitude. We are returning to them. We are returning to them. If you do what you're supposed to do on Sunday, church will not contempt you. Will we do that? I oh. am a Thank you very much. Dalo. Can you tell me what makes a woman to enter a burning fire? The house is burning and the baby is here. And the woman didn't fear the fire enter. Can you tell me what we push her? Love for the baby. That is number one thing that must be in our life. Love for one another. Love for the brothers. Love for the sisters. Love for the wicked in your company. You hate what he's doing, but you still love the person. When you love the person, you drop the stone. And when you drop the stone, you will come closer. There is no person you stay very close and talk and talk if you're a child of God that will not one day say, hey, let me follow you to the church. And when he comes, leave the Holy Ghost. Your pastor will describe everything about him. Brethren, I'm going. We are owing Jesus. All of us. We are owing Jesus. God created us for good relationship. We have turned it into competition. We have already been showing our emotions without showing pity. There are two twins. The two, yeah, they were born to win. Then one of them has heart disease. And was to supposed to die in some days. Then a doctor said that when they were brought out of the womb, the two of them were just facing each other. The doctor said there is nothing we can do. No medical condition can change it. Doctor Wes, when you get me, did I hear by the TPO you bought? Now, I could go, Usoro, Ndusiwadi, when you get me. Anything we try today. 
Anything we try. This child must die. He said, Go and bring back the twin brother. They brought the twin brother. Who the one we had disease in incubator? And and the other side. Eventually, when they came back to check them, two of them has held them together as if they were in the womb. They were hugging themselves. And they brought them out. And checked that one with heart disease. And discovered that the heart disease has gone. The other one has a brand new heart. They call it a hug of love. How will we love ourselves without having consequences of good. If we love ourselves this night, miracle will follow us from this ground. There are people you don't greet that have packaged your blessing long ago, but they couldn't give you because you locked them up. This evening, we are all going to repent. I, all of us are going to repent. And when we repent, look at your number this evening. Tomorrow it will be double. I say it will be double. Let me hear your amen. Amen. And bet me today. Anybody that will repent and make phone calls and reconcile. Before tomorrow, almost all the debts that owing you, they will pay it. Everything you have lost, you will recover them. Is anybody listening to me? You will get some phone calls that will surprise you. People who you have been begging for help long, long years ago, you forgot them and said that we can. They will call you by themselves and say, send your account. If you agree with me, rise up and shout. Hallelujah. Uh, rise up. Are you still sitting down? Rise up. There no time. God, go and do it this night. This night. Call your village. Call your mother, call your father. Whether your father is a drunkard or a smoker, he is still your father. You don't begin to insult him and say, this man put me in bondage, drunkard, and you insult him and come to Onisha to prosper. Your father cannot be bought in the market. And so you must re respect and regard them. Call them and make peace. If you are quarreling with me here, you must call me and make peace. Do you know there are people that like making trouble everywhere that even if pastors say praise the Lord, they're angry. Pastor say God bless you, they angry. They say, why did you say God bless you? You said it yesterday, you said it last year. Do we say God should not bless you again? I say God bless you. Amen. And also with you, sir. I say God bless you. Are you offended with me? You want to work in making them. If you're happy with me, say amen. Amen. Watch out, hypertension will run away. Watch out, all the things they call us, it will run away. Say a better amen. Amen. When a leader loves you, it is a grace. Don't joke with the love of a leader. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ this night, 
Jesus Christ You have seen what we are talking about. You saw the woman caught in adultery. She ran to Jesus. And she was free. She became a friend of Jesus. You saw all we have said about conflict. And you want to give your life to Jesus. Can you run out to this place? This place. If I count ten, I will stop people from coming. Just here. Just this place. Just, this place. Just come, run to this place. I want to run it. One, two, three. Just to this place. Once I, uh, four, five, six, seven. Don't wound yourself. Yes. God bless. Run, run to this place. Run. Yes. Run. You need Jesus. You need peace. Jesus. Yes. My friend, God will bring peace from heaven. God will bring peace. He will bring healing. He will bring deliverance. Yes, we are waiting for you, Ron. Those are the back, Ron. Those are the back, Ron. Understand that if I pray for you for only one minute, go home. You will see what will happen. You will see what will happen. Is anybody listening? This is watchman. Miracle is reserved for me. Miracle is reserved for you. You must understand it. Come on, come on. If you are here, come on. You know why I say so? You can ask them. The woman that has lost hope. I told them that God said he will pay money into somebody's account. Did you hear it? Okay. You were there. <laughs> you they were cow. God bless you. Clap for Jesus. So tell them the testimony when you go. Yes. Yes. This night, let it be that you are the poorest person in Onisha. I will tell my Jesus to pay money into your account. Not why you money. You will go to the bank. They told you that one man just came in and paid 10 million now. Yes. So, where are our workers? Where are those, I mean, Moses and Yes. Where are the workers? Can you take these people by the side, minister to them? And I will wait for you. I'm not going anywhere. I will wait for you. Yes. I will wait for you. Yes. I will wait for you. Yes, follow them. Follow them. Follow them. Yes, follow them. The, the next group of people I want to see and pray for, if today is your first time you are coming here, come out. Today is your first time. Come out. Yes. Go, go this way. Our ministers should follow them. Go this way. Today is your first time. Come Come. Out. come. Where are the ministers? Today is your first time. As you are stepping out here, you are stepping on your miracle. You are stepping on your miracle. You are stepping on your miracle. Yes, you are stepping on your miracle. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Today is your Others there, sit down, sit down. I'm coming to pray for you. Today is your first time. Come. Sit down, God bless you. Today is your first time. Where are our ministers? Yes, ministers. I want to pray for them. So can you, where are the pastors? Can you minister to them? Bring them back, I pray for them. All of them should meet here. Take them this way. Where are the ministers? Oh yeah, take them anywhere you like. Do quick, do quick, do quick. Everybody sit down. Sit down. Music ministry. It's like my voice and yours did not rhyme this evening. So rise up and sing for us as the minister to them. Let me hear you. Quickly. Quickly. I have five minutes. Yaki Mary Jesus Seny, Yaki Nala Maria, Yaki Mary Jesus Seny, Yona Bogi, Yaki Mary Jesus Seny, Yaki Nala Maria, Yaki 
Leave them first. Turn this way. Those here, turn this way. Straight, straight out your hands here. Are you stretching your hands? Let me see you stretch your hands. If you believe that my prayers have started working, say amen. Amen. Okay. I don't know how to pray it long ago. But it will work. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all these brethren now. Let barrenness be taken away. Amen. Every spirit of barrenness I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. You will deliver even twins this time. Like this time, next year, testimonies will abound. Amen. Any sickness that you brought in this ground, I command them to quit. Let pains in your body quit. That person that they are booked for oppression, as you return to hospital, they will tell you they couldn't find it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Clap your hand for Jesus. Clap your hand. Jesus, Jesus, Just jump up. One. Did you jump with your body? Jump up two. Jump up three. Do you know the meaning of that? Everything in your body has been buried down. 
Are you listening to me? Number two is that God has lifted you above your equals. Number three, from this night, your destiny has changed. I am waiting for your testimonies tomorrow. Even as you are sleeping tonight, your phone will be ringing. People that see squad belong to you, even the one you didn't know, they will be calling you and be returning. Are you coming tomorrow? If you are coming, shout hallelujah. You will be surprised. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk very well on how to be a millionaire. <laughs> are you listening? <laughs> are you coming? 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 Are you Anybody that used to pray with me in those days, you don't mention money. Huh? Huh? Once you mention money, I call you a backslider. But recently, after COVID-19, COVID God asked me, how can you be in the church with people who don't have accommodation? How can you be in the church with people who don't have businesses? How can you be in the church with people who don't eat? Every day they come and you are shouting hallelujah. But And God said, if you want them to serve me, can give them food. Can give them money. Can give them accommodation. I, I was not afraid. I announced it. As you see me, God can use me to make you a billionaire. Will you come tomorrow? In this place, listen to me. After ministration tomorrow, somebody will just tell the Dacian pastor, I want to share food to all brethren in Onisha. This thing I'm telling you is not real. God will supply wealth here. Note it. There is no going to heaven without sacrifice. When God blesses you, let the brethren know about it. Give them rice. Give them yam. Stop those that are hawking on the road. Uh, is it possible? <laughs> Give them shop so that when you say praise the Lord, they say hallelujah. I'm waiting for you tomorrow. Because of what the Lord has done, I will praise him more and more. Because of what the Lord has done, I will praise him more and more. Because of what the Lord has done, I will praise him more and more. Because of what the Lord has done, I will praise him more and more. I will praise him more and more. I'm <laughs> 